But the fact that they're soaking in water is the first key to developing a strategy for reed maintenance. Here's a Tupperware container. Now, it's kind of gross. These reeds have mold all over them, and they're kept in an airtight Tupperware. Why are they in there? Because they're good. And they were in water before. I've played those, and they're all good, and they're in an airtight container molding, but I don't care. I will throw them in water again and scrape the mold off. Soak the reeds forever before you even try it the first time. Now, the the next strategy or thing that you need to be worried about, now sometimes the reed is, it's gonna take a minute. I'm in my apartment, I don't wanna play loud right now, but I really assault the reed when I first put it on there. I'm talking about honking like a goose. You know, suction test? I suction test these things so hard so that they start to seal. Then I play notes holding my thumb right here where the water line is on the reed. Remember, I still haven't even put the reed on my saxophone. At this point, after about three minutes, I'm pretty sure whether the reed's gonna work or not. And I probably have out of a box of five reeds, an average of three these days that work because I'm doing this. Okay, now, now that it's on the horn, sometimes I've broken the reeds doing this. Flex it till the tip, the reed hits the tip of the mouthpiece. Maybe like three flexes. You can actually hear the fibers breaking. It's okay. Suction test again. Play it on the horn. If it's too hard, more fiber breaking. And you just go on and on, and you'll be amazed at how you can force these reeds to submit to your will because you're you're forcing them with your thumb onto the rails. You've soaked it for a long time, so it's very it's very um, flexible when you first start working with it. Blah blah. If the reed feels like it's gonna come around one day, you start smashing it if it's too hard. If it's just right or too soft, put it away. Schedule your remote lesson with Eric via FaceTime, Skype, etc. at ericalexanderjazz.com.